This is one day of evaporation, powerful, powerful evaporation. And uh, the first one who, who noticed, who took note of that, was Alexander von Humboldt, this German Austrian naturalist who went to the Amazon. He's the father of meteorology, ecology, uh, uh, physical geography. And uh, he suggested that the trees are important to wet or to moist the atmosphere. And uh, indeed, so 200 years later, we have measured this. A large tree can put up to a thousand liters of water. It's a reverse irrigation, it's taking water from the soil and putting it in the air. And for the whole Amazon, for the whole Amazon, we calculated 20 billion tons of water per day. This is 20 trillion liters of water per day. This is three billion tons of water more than the Amazon River, the largest river on Earth, discharges in the Atlantic Ocean. So you have an Amazon River of vapor upwelling from the forests into the atmosphere. Um, this turns the Amazon a massive evaporator. And if you could put all this 20 billion tons of water inside a kettle, you know this one that you boil water, to boil, a giant one, how much energy would it consume? And I did this calculation. In one day, the Amazon converts the amount of energy equivalent to what we consume in humanity in a full year, globally. This gives you the size of the, of the, uh, the Amazon uh, pump. So we have 400 billion trees, 400 billion air conditioners. Because when it evaporates on the surface, it harvests heat, and then when it rises in atmosphere, it's released in height, uh, cooling the planet. Then you have evaporation, you have to have condensation. And this is the image showing how much rain. It's a satellite data, uh, 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 a meteorological uh, radar on a satellite, showing which clouds are raining. And you see that there is much more rain all, on the Amazon than over similar latitudes on the, on the oceans. And we want to know this why we found it. Um, plants release gas, organic uh, volatile gas, like terpenes, isoprenes, and also spora or fungi. And this incredible efficient condensation nuclei or seeds for clouds. So we call them also fairy dust or magical powder. <laughs> Uh, the, the trees are releasing this, and they are manipulating the vapor in the atmosphere, making it rain. When it rains, then you, you, you can start to understand the, this effect. This is a simulation showing a lot of moisture around Australia, and it never break, breaks in, it never comes inland. Why? You have so much moisture there. This is the rule for deserts. Deserts have a landlocked circulation. Wind always blows from land to sea. And when it does, it doesn't allow moisture to come in. What we found studying the Amazon is that when you have forests on land, then it inverts the, the flow. The condensation on land lowers pressure and pulls the water inland. It's called the biotic pump of moisture. This explains rainfall 3,000 kilometers from the coast in many forests around the world and uh, also gives us hope that we can rebuild uh, forests in even arid uh, uh, forests. Uh, of course, when you have a pump pumping, then you have a flow, then you